Hey class, this is to summarize protein synthesis. So remember that protein synthesis is a two-step process. Step one, we have to convert a strand of DNA into a strand of mRNA. And this process is called transcription. Then, after we have converted DNA into a strand of mRNA, we now have to use that mRNA to tell us which amino acids we're going to make. And then we're going to link those amino acids together to create a protein. Remember, amino acids are just individual molecules that when they get linked together, like so, one, two, three, when we link these guys together, that makes the protein. And that process is called translation. Okay. So, we're going to start here before we do transcription. I just want to go over the base pairing rules one more time. So remember that DNA is what we're starting with, but it has two strands, not just one. So let's say that strand number one of DNA reads GCCATA. Well, there's a second strand across from that and it's going to read something. It's, it, there's going to be a base. These are called the four bases, right? GCAT, GCAT. Uh, but across from them are going to be their base pairs. So we're going to follow the base pairing rules. And if you remember, in the base pairing rules, G and C are always together, and A and T are always together in DNA. So, if there's a G across from it, you will always find a C. If there's a C across from it, you will always find a G, because those two always go together. C, G, A, T, T, A, A, T. So, we just completed our second strand of DNA. Now, this was already there. Okay, your body didn't have to make that happen. It's already there. I just wanted to cover the base pairing rules. So now that we have our full DNA molecule, both strands, we're now going to go through the first step of protein synthesis, which is, to, is transcription to uh, convert one of these two strands, only one, not both, only one of these two strands is going to get converted into mRNA. Well, the way that your body knows which one to do is we have what's called a 5' prime and a 3' prime end. Now, don't stress out about knowing what 5' prime or what it prime even means or any of that. Just know this. These are just different words for all intents and purposes right now start and finish your body knows to start at 5 prime and work in the direction of 3 prime we're not going to get into the mushy gushy details of why they're called that just know, start and finish. Five prime to three prime. Okay. So this strand is the one that we are going to uh, convert into RNA. And that strand is what we call the template strand. So two enzymes Two enzymes are involved 
in this process here. The first enzyme is called helicase. Helicase is going to come along and it's going to go right down the middle of these guys and it's going to separate every letter from its friend on the other side or every base from its friend on the other side. Now then right behind helicase is going to be an enzyme we call RNA polymerase. And RNA polymerase is going to come in right behind helicase and it's going to read every single base on the template strand. It's actually, I put it in the wrong direction because it's over here. It's actually going to start here at the five prime end and go that way. So let me fix that real quick. I don't want to confuse anybody. It's going to come around here and it's going to go in this direction. And it's going to finish here. Okay? Alright. So now we just have now that we have these two strands separated by helicase, this enzyme RNA polymerase is going to read every base and we're going to convert every base in DNA into its RNA counterpart. So across from C, we're going to find a G, base pairing rules, and across from G, we're going to convert that to a C, we're going to convert G to a C, convert T to an A, convert A to A, should be a T, shouldn't it? Because I told you A and T always go together, but that's in DNA. In RNA, there is no T. There is a U instead. So you got to remember when you're making RNA, anywhere you would normally put a T, you have to stop yourself, remind yourself that you're making RNA, and replace that T with a U. But all the other base pairs are the same. So instead of putting an A, I'm going to put a U. It's, I'm sorry, for A, I'm going to put a U instead of a T. And where T is, I'm going to put an A, just like normal. So now we have a strand of RNA. Here it is, GCCAUA. Now, each of these three letters, these first three letters and these second three letters, your body's going to read them in groups of three, three by three. Each group of three is called a codon. So this is codon one, GCC, and this is codon two, AUA. Now, each codon tells us to make a particular amino acid, which we are then going to put together with the other amino acids that the other codons tell us to make and make a protein. How do we do that? Well, that's where our handy dandy codon chart comes in. So let's remember GCC. In order to determine what amino acid the codon GCC is going to make, we can use this chart. This is a list of all the 20 amino acids that are found in nature. We start in the middle and find the first letter in the middle, G. Then we find the next letter, C, and the next letter, C. 
and that will tell us to make this amino acid alanine, which I will abbreviate with ALA. The second codon, AUA, is going to tell us to make another amino acid. Let's find out which one. AUA. So we start in the middle, A, then we find the U, and then the A. And that tells us to make the amino acid isoleucine. Or ISO for short. Now we have our amino acids. We've reached the end of our RNA sequence. The way that your body knows that it's the end, it'll actually reach what's called a stop codon. But let's just pretend that the next codon is a stop codon and that these are the only two amino acids. So we're gonna put these two together and those two together are now a protein. And proteins, they control your traits. Traits like hair color, eye color, height, all sorts of things are controlled by proteins, which are made from amino acids, which are made from the information in codons in RNA, which are made from the information in DNA.